Okay, so now onto keys. The way you make keys, really simple. Take your clay, not quite as thick, maybe half an inch. And if you have a clay board, that helps out a lot. So now I have a thin sheet of clay. And I'm only gonna make three keys. So I'm going to cut a strip at a 90 degree angle. Then the other one, about a 45. So you can see that I have a 45 degree angle on one side, 90 on the back. 90 isn't important because it's gonna be on the outside of your mold. But So again, I'm gonna do another 45 degree angle cut. 45 degree angle cut, and that is a key. That's what a key looks like in clay. So it's a lot deeper than it needs to be. You'll see why. I'm going to press this really close to the edge of the sculpture, and then cut it flush to my wall. So I've got this teeny tiny little key. That keeps, the three of these are gonna keep my mold from shifting against itself when it's uh, no longer got a sculpture in it and you're trying to cast it up. Clean that up a little bit. And the reason you cut those edges at, a, at an angle is because that angle makes sure that these mold walls don't lock into themselves. If you did square keys, they're probably gonna break. You can do a few, depends on the size of your sculpture. I'm doing three, top uh, and the two sides. So I said a, about a 45 degree angle. Don't worry if it's not exact. Um, you don't have to sit there and, and calculate or measure it somehow. Just, just eyeball it. And it looks really small, but this thing is gonna be so important. Okay, my final key is gonna go on top. This one I can make a little wider actually. So I made it a wider key, it'll still be really shallow. Okay, so that is gonna go right on top. Again, I can clean that off. Okay, so that's the end of our clay. Using my same sponge, cleaning up these edges of this key a little bit. Now, thinking ahead a little bit, what I'm gonna do is eventually when the mold is taken off, I'm going to then place it inside a bucket upside down and that's how I'm gonna fill it up. If you don't have a bucket, what you can do is you can build the top of your wall a little higher and then cut it completely flat so that you still give yourself an inch but the top of your mold is flat. And what that does is you're basically preparing to then, when the mold is open and cleaned up, you'll flip it upside down and you'll have a flat edge to, uh, to rest it on. A lot of old school mold makers can sometimes, they, they put uh, you know, wooden dowels in their mold so it'll have four points. Basically, you just set that over just like a table and that'll uh, rest on its own. But um, we're doing the quick and dirty version, so we're not gonna be doing that.